If you have bad aim or you're trying to improve your aim, I have the perfect video for you. There's this trick many people have been doing to lock on the enemy and improve their aim. For starters, you want to join a zero build map. Any of them will do, but the busier the better. For those interested to try this one, I'll drop the code on the screen, but almost any map will do. There's another point about how you hold the mouse and move your arm that I'll get later into the video, but for now this is the most important point. The general idea is to remove your crosshair, and the reason for that is, many people don't use the crosshair as it should. The crosshair should be in your peripheral vision, where the player you want to shoot at should be your main focus. What a lot of people have gotten used to, like myself, is to look at my crosshair, then look at the person I want to shoot to, and then move the crosshair to them. And you can already imagine that's much slower than looking at the person directly and moving the crosshair to them. And minimizing that delay will improve your aim. It is easier said than done, and I have a trick to help you guys really improve at this. So if you already found a zero build map to join, what you want to do is go into your settings and look for a reticle indicator, and you want to turn that off. There is also an ammo indicator, but I've been doing this trick for a while now, and I want to transition back into having a crosshair. And I think the right way to do that is just to add an ammo indicator and kind of work my way to it. But it's honestly so surprising to me how much better my aim got. I used to think that my aim is never going to get better and I should just get better at mechanics, but it turns out there was a lot of room for improvement, I was just not doing it right. And this is a trick that's going to get you to there as fast as possible. We've not only seen a lot of creators talk about the importance of aim over mechanics, but we've actually seen pros talk about this too. And if you ask any of them, they'll choose mechanics over aim anytime. Because nowadays, almost everyone can edit and build. But if you're able to out-aim someone, then building means absolutely nothing. And I'm not saying you should forget mechanics at all, but what you'll notice is it takes a lot more time to get better at aiming than it does at building. If you spend one week working on a specific build or edit, you'll notice you'll get a lot better at it. But the pro aimers have been doing this since they were kids, and that's why they've gotten so good at it. With that being said, you want to make sure that you have both your reticle and your ammo indicator off when you start. And that will really push you to make sure that you don't use any indicator to aim at someone. So as long as you use your eyes to track them, you'll notice that you drag your mouse to take the shot. The more you practice this, you'll notice you don't depend on that crosshair. And that's ultimately the goal here. Without the constant visual aid, you'll be forced to rely on your own judgment and intuition. You'll start to notice the subtle cues of the environment, the movement of your opponent, and the trajectory of your shots. And that will help you track your opponents a lot better than you thought you could. With this all being said, as soon as you start this, you'll feel like you're shooting blind. But that's the whole reason you want to do this. Because if you are missing your shots, that means you already depend too much on your crosshair. And I promise you, if you keep doing this, you'll get a lot better at not depending on it. And if you get to a point where you feel there's no hope, then maybe turn on your ammo indicator and work from there. But the end goal is to not have any indicator at all, and not depend on anything visually, so you'll get more used to it. The one thing I want you guys to try out is after you're done doing this for about 15 minutes, turn your crosshair back on and get into a game and you'll already notice a difference. The biggest difference will happen when you first try this out. And as time goes on, it only gets better and better. There's another trick that a lot of people end up using and that is going to an application like Aim Labs. And I'm not saying it helps, but what I'm saying is it's a good way to benchmark your aim. And what I mean by that is it's a good way to measure how good you've already gotten and maybe get back to it after you try this trick and see how much better you've gotten. But generally, a good use for an application like that is to understand the sense that works best for you. And this is different from person to person depending on the playstyle and the way you aim. Some people use their wrist more than they use your arm, and those who use their wrist require a higher sensitivity, where those who use their arm require a lower one. And this is very unique person to person, so I do urge you to kind of go out of your way and look for that perfect sense. That brings me to my second point, and this is also a very crucial point when it comes to improving your aim, and that is aiming with your wrist versus aiming with your arm. There's this crazy debate that has been going on for years about which one is better, and the pros and cons of each aiming style. Now here's the thing. Wrist aiming is super precise and great for those quick twitchy movements. It's like having pinpoint accuracy at your fingertips. And I mean, a bonus is that it's less tiring because you don't end up moving your whole arm. But then there's arm aiming. And honestly, as soon as you start aiming with your arm, you'll notice a whole new world of control. You'll end up having a wider range of motion, which means you can make those big sweeping movements with ease. And which ultimately means your sense will be a lot lower than it would. And that kind of brings us to the main question, which is what's better? And that's a tricky question to answer because it's a balance. What you guys really want to focus on is if you notice you aim more with your wrist, try using your arm more. And if it feels wrong, it's just not for you. But as weird as it sounds, you want to have both. You want to be able to use your arm to do that 180 and use your wrist for small adjustments to aim at that enemy. This way you'll get the best of both worlds. When you try this new aim style with the trick I taught you in the start of the video, I guarantee your aim will get a lot better. But what I'll say is it does take time. Change like this is not going to happen right away. But follow this and you won't be missing your shots anymore. This worked so well for me and I'm excited to hear how well it works for you. So give it a shot and let me know how good you got in the comments down below. And as always, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.